Today we're gonna be going over to the creek. We're gonna be having a lot of fun over there, but first, I'm gonna be showing you guys footage from yesterday. Yesterday was a lot of fun. Most of you guys probably know who Luke from Catfish and Carp is. Well, basically, he had a fishing event yesterday in Washington, D.C. He invited everybody out to come, chill, and do some fishing, and me and Leo from Extreme Philly Fishing actually drove down to Washington, D.C. yesterday, did some fishing, hung out with everybody, man. It was just a really awesome experience. I met so many of you guys. It was just an all-around awesome day, so let me show you the footage that I got from that right now. Today, guys, we are out here in Washington, D.C. I'm here with my friend Leo from Extreme Philly Fishing. <laughs> Today we are actually out here at Catfish and Carp's Meat and Fish event. It is over here in the Tidal Basin at Washington, D.C. I have actually never been here before. I've never fished here before, so this is definitely going to be interesting. I'm trying to get on a bunch of species of fish. What, what do you think we're going to get on here today? Dude, we're going to get everything, man. 10-pound snakehead. 10-pound snakehead. It's coming right up. Hey, it's going well, man. What's up, Mike? Hey, Mike. Hey, I heard nice a lot about you. you. How you doing? So we just met Luke. As you can see today, we are by this Washington Monument right here. There's another monument back there, and there's also Leo right down there. First, I think we're actually going to be going for some bass, maybe some snakeheads. I'm not exactly sure yet, but we're going to tie some Sankos on, maybe some other types of baits. See what we can catch there, man. All right, guys, here we go. Got the Wacky Rig Sanko out. It's a five-inch watermelon Sanko. So the beginning of the day here, we're just going to be going for some bass. Eventually, we're going to switch up the species. But yeah, man, bass first. <laughs> oh, I'm out. I'm out. All right. Bro, here comes the 10-pound snakehead right here. Oh, all right guys, I have not been having any luck here. I switched up to a little mimic shed. I'm just trying to catch a fish. Hopefully we could do that. No more playing games here. So as I said, it has been an extremely rough day out here today, man. It seems like nobody's really catching any fish. I've now put a live night curler on a small hook, a little split shot. We are gonna get some fish on this little wall. There's a fish. First fish of the day. Finally, guys. Oh my gosh, it has been so long. Ah, whew. All right, guys, there we go. First fish of the day, man. Tiny tiny little bluegill from the tidal basin we're actually over here in this little lagoon right now um you can see extreme philly fishing all the way over there but yeah man look at this tiny little bluegill i'm just so happy that we actually caught something finally man now i can start putting some bigger lures on just because i did not want to get skunked out here either way man we're having some fun it's a good time out here let's let this guy go oh yeah dang ah do, but as soon as he turned on, he was like, oh. so... Oh, yeah, there we go. Fish on. Go, Let's go. Oh, come here. Dolly, come here. Let's go. Yeah, oh, first bass dude. of the day. Yeah, dude. I saw that line moving. Oh, my so God. What, what kind is it? Let's call him down. Uh, smallmouth bass. Small bass. Oh. Let's call him down. Ow. Ow. Oh, we always put him back. Okay. I wouldn't suggest to eat anything out of this water. <laughs> You want me to take a shot? Let's take a shot first. A little bit down, a little bit down, a little bit down. Very good. There we go. First smallie of the day, man. That was a good feeling. Let's release this guy really quick. First smallie, first bass of the day, actually. Right Whoa, back in the water. Yeah, dude. It was happy. Let's go. Was happy to go. <laughs> Let's catch some more, man. All right, guys, we are now switching up the strategy a little bit. We're going to be attempting to put our catfish rigs on, go for a little bit of catfish, see what the bite is like. I mean, it's been a really tough day out here today. Not too much going on. People are catching fish here, though, so that is a good thing. But yeah, man, it's been a lot of fun to meet you guys. It's just really awesome to be out here, and hopefully we can get some more. Definitely a tough day in terms of fishing. I mean, we did not actually catch too many fish. I caught a smallmouth, a couple sunfish, but people were pulling out some really big fish out of there. I mean, some big catfish, some big carp. It was just really awesome to meet Luke also. He's just a really, really cool guy. He was mentoring me on some things. He's just, I, I don't know, man. I really look up to that guy. And Leo, man, it is just always a good time hanging out with that guy. I do apologize if you did not hear about this event and you would have attended, but you just didn't know I was going to be there or Leo was going to be there. That is definitely one of the upsides of following me on Instagram. I let all of you guys on Instagram know. So yeah, guys, sorry for the late notice. Sorry if you guys did not know we were going to be there. I actually didn't know we were going to be there either this was just like very short notice thing but i'm really happy that we went there as you can see today we are out here at a creek we're going to be having a little bit of fun here we're definitely going to be trying to catch some fish i'm actually pretty excited to try something out that one of you guys sent me in my p.o box boom there we go guys one of you actually sent this to my p.o box pretty sure your name was ben so shout out to you ben thank you for the package thank you for the sankos thank you for the letter the address to my p.o box is also in the description if any of you guys want to send me anything so i do not have too much time here today but i'm actually really excited to try these little sankos i've never seen sankos this small we're also going to be trying some other stuff here in this creek man we're just going to have a good day of fishing so first man let's go tie on these little mini sankos let's see how they work and let's see if we can hook up with any holdover trout because last time i was here i did see some trout in these waters this is a stock trout stream in the spring so let's see if there's any holdovers in here let's just get to fishing man oh my gosh look at how small this little sanko is that is nuts that is so cute man look at this little wacky rig i have no clue if this is actually going to work or not but man if i had to guess this thing is probably going to be pretty killer so let's toss this guy in See if we can get on some good fish here. Lots of sunfish bites. Come on, man, where are all these bass at?
There's a fish. Oh yeah. Oh. Not yet. Oh, he's on it. Ah. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh. Da. Yeah, he fell right off. Dang it, man. I did not know that that last guy was on. I would have pulled him up quicker. But it does look like this little three inch mini Sanko is putting in some work, especially on these largemouth. It is getting pecked at by smaller fish, you know, the sunfish, everything like that. But I mean, so far, this seems to be a good bait to use in a creek if you're trying to avoid sunfish and if you're just trying to get some bass. Oh, there's a hit. There's a fish. Oh yeah, come here, buddy. What do we have here? First fish of the day on the tiny Sanko, man. Oh, I lost my Sanko. Let's do jack my Sanko. Largemouth bass on the tiny Sanko. I mean, it is a tiny bass, tiny Sanko. Actually, let me get one of these out. All right, guys, there you go, man. This little Sanko here is about half the size of this tiny little bass. This is really cool, man. I've never seen a Sanko this small. I have seen some bass this small, though. I'm sure all of you guys know that. Let's let our little largey go here. I do appreciate you biting, my good sir. Do you want to let go? He's like gnawing on my thumb here, dude. I'm trying to release you, bro. Oh, well, guys, there you go. Again, shout out to Ben for sending over these little Sankos. This is a lot of fun i really do appreciate all of you guys who have been sending me stuff so i actually got to thinking you know when you're out here fishing and you just start thinking about stuff basically i was thinking about the last time that i came here i was fishing at this exact same spot and i was actually using some crawfish that I trapped with my pair of hands from over there in those rocks that are right over there that got me thinking like i really did have a lot of fun trying to catch those crawfish last time and i kind of just had this urge out of nowhere that i want to go trap some crawfish so i kind of have a little something in mind a little change of plans that i might make oh that is freaking chilly, dude. <laughs> All right, guys, so new plan out here today. We're gonna try to catch some crawfish. And if we are successful, I'm planning to do a little crawfish catch and cook, maybe? This was actually a suggestion from a lot of you guys. And also, this is inspired by Extreme Philly Fishing, man, because we went to the Chinese buffet last night and this dude had a whole plate of crawfish. He says he loves them. I'm not sure if the crawfish in my creek are anything compared to that of the Chinese buffet, but I'm actually pretty interested to see, man. I don't think I've ever eaten a crawfish before. So if I'm able to catch a crawfish, this is definitely gonna be an interesting video. Just a disclaimer, I'd recommend you guys to actually check out your creeks. Check out the consumption information, man. A lot of creeks are pretty polluted, so we're not going to be eating too many of these today. My goal is to catch two crawfish to bring home, try, catch, and cook. Let's see if we can do it. All right, so if you guys did watch my last video where I caught crawfish in this exact creek, it was definitely a big struggle, man. The way I was doing it was not the best way of doing it. So this time I figured I'd come prepared. I'd bring a little net and make it easy on myself, but just take a wild guess at what I forgot. All right, so I just picked up the stick. I actually have this little container that I got from my car. Hopefully we're going to be able to flip some rocks over and find some of these little guys. I know they're hard to catch. I'm going to have to try to find these guys quick before the sun goes down. So as you can see, we have a little crawfish here, but man, this thing is uh, this thing is dead. And that thing smelled too. I just dropped that back in the water. So I mean, I guess that is a good sign. There should be some crawfish in this water. I'm not sure why that one's dead. I thought it was actually a molted shell, but it turns out that that guy's just completely dead. Okay guys, I see one. Oh, I think I see two actually. Oh yeah, I got him. All right, there we go. First crawfish of the day. Whew, that worked perfectly. So let's take our time here. Dump some of this water out. We have our lucky Ziploc here we're just gonna pour him into, or her. I'm not gonna assume their gender, but there we go. First crawfish of the day. Just keep him in our little Ziploc for now. Oh, that is a nice looking one over here. Oh, is he in? Oh, okay, I probably sounded crazy right there, but this just got me really excited. I got a freaking huge one here. This, oh. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. he just tried to escape. This is catching cook size right here, guys. Now, if I do get any more crawfish than this, I'm definitely going to be fishing with them. But guys, can you see the comparison in size, man? That is a big, that's a lunker right there. And then this is just a little guy, but man, that one is good catching cook size. So let's try to get some more here. Pretty much my new strategy is if I see them on the ground or anywhere, I pretty much just kind of cup this to them. And then once I feel a little thump or tap on here, I know that they're in here so I can just yank it up like that. Two for two so far. Oh. Yep, got him again. Basically, this guy was under a rock, so I picked the back of the rock up a little bit, and I just kind of poked him from the back with a stick, and I had this out in front, and he just ran right into this. Pretty sure that's a common way to catch lobster, actually. So that's actually pretty sick. This is kind of like a little mini lobstering, you know what I mean? I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but there are five crayfish in here. All right, so there you guys go. There's five crawfish in our bag. We're going to use a few to try and catch some fish. Hopefully, the other two taste good, and they will not kill me from eating them. There's a fish. There's a fish on. What do we have here? on the crawfish here we go it's getting really dark oh my gosh it's so dark wow this is a freaking chubby dude right here all right guys well there you go this is another fish for the day this is actually a really chubby red breast sunfish i'm gonna throw that guy back in man it got darker way sooner than i expected it to so i'm actually gonna dump out all of these guys that we do not need be free all right here we go guys welcome to my kitchen we are going to be heating up our mini lobsters here so first of all i grabbed a pan 
heated it up a little bit on the stove and here is where our secret ingredient comes in i just put some butter on the pan let the thing melt a little bit squeeze a little lemon juice in there you know just kind of get that ph balance the right way i put the crawfish in here i watched them change colors as they cooked i mean i'm colorblind but i could tell the difference and then it was finally time man to give these things a little taste test all right guys well as you can see here our crawfish are officially done cooking pretty sure that i did cook them the right way i've never cooked crawfish before i've never tried crawfish before Whew. all right guys so it is now time to taste our little crawfish here here is the largest crawfish that we caught today and to be 100 percent honest with you guys i actually just googled how to eat crawfish so uh do not judge me if i'm doing it wrong pretty much what i saw was that you're supposed to tear the head off of the body oh yeah i'm not doing this right i know i said that you could suck the guts and stuff out of the head but I'm gonna refrain uh, from that the first time I'm doing this. There is the meat, pretty much got all of it out there. I'm pretty optimistic about this because I usually do like shellfish. So, I mean, let's just give this thing a try here. Hmm, definitely interesting. I definitely got a lot of that butter flavor that I put in. It kind of seeped into the shell, I guess. If I had to choose something, it kind of tastes like lobster slash like maybe shrimp. It's kind of like a cheap combination of both of them. Yeah, man, I don't know. I mean, I actually did kind of like it. Now, would I order that at a restaurant? I mean, probably not. Probably though, that is 100% my fault, like the way I cooked it and everything like that. I want to taste some crawfish down south, like in a boil or something like that. Those look so good. But yeah, man, this is definitely not bad. Now, again, I would not suggest just eating crawfish out of any creek. I mean, these things are bottom feeders and your creeks probably are pretty polluted. But if you do not mind that, man, go ahead, go eat some crawfish, go crazy. They are some tasty little dudes. So that is going to be it for this video. I really didn't expect to go out there and eat some crawfish today. My goal was to just go out to the creek, have some fun, catch some fish on some different kind of lures and everything like that. But I mean, we ended up catching and cooking some tiny little lobsters, but it was actually pretty cool, man. They were actually pretty good. Definitely in the comments below. Let me know how you guys season your crawfish. I'm going to go finish editing up this video, man. But thank you guys as always for all the support, man. You guys have been crushing it recently. Really, really do appreciate it. So let's keep this rolling, man. I'll see you guys next video.